is going to focus on how we can actually reach our prospects. One of the challenges that we have is we people can send out a lot of emails without getting a lot of responses. One of the reasons behind that is that we haven't really reached their attention threshold. What that means is they may receive your email, and chances are they deleted your email, but they didn't actually read it or go through it in detail, at least not enough to actually act on it. And so what we're going to talk about today is a methodology to help get your message across using comics. And so this has been a, a, a suggestion that was come up with by Stu Heineke, who's actually a cartoonist for the Wall Street, Wall Street Journal. And what he found is this is an excellent way to find and get appointments with virtually anybody because one of the things that we that he discovered was that in order to get your prospects to respond, they have to understand your message. But because most of the time they don't take the time to actually understand the message, you really have to find a way to pique their interest. And so usually comics will give them some type of an incentive to be gratified using humor in order to get them to actually draw them in. But in addition to getting their attention, the fact that the images can communicate things at a different level in a much faster way, it helps avoid that split-second decision that they make about archiving the message. You can actually slip the message into their mindset before they actually archive it because that's what images essentially do is that it helps us to communicate our message more quickly in order to avoid those split-second decisions. Because if you are spending a few different sentences to help communicate what your value proposition is, it's probably too late. And so that's one of the nice things about comics is it has that two-fold approach, which one, it gives them an incentive to actually digest the information. And two, it communicates the information very quickly before the information is taken away from their screen. And so, and also on a side note, communicating things in, in the form of like not directly but indirectly has a much bigger impact on the brain. And so there's lots of different examples out there. You've probably seen a few of them, and maybe you know people who post comics outside of their office that they feel rele are relevant to them. But that's the kind of impact that these have on our prospects. And so typically these are going to be delivered in the form of an email. We'll talk about how we can come up with this. But here's a good example. Uh, it says, thanks to the cloud, you can continue working in there, Hoskins. And then it has a picture of a boss standing outside of a restroom. So this would be probably relevant in today's day and age where a lot of people are working remotely, but it helps also provide in a, a humorous way that I think any boss could appreciate. Another example is for managed IT. This is a picture of... Uh, uh, IT professional with spider webs that says, this is the IT department. We just keep them as a reminder of the bad old days. So again, um, you wouldn't send this to the IT manager, but maybe the CFO, maybe the, the president say, look, there's a better way to manage your IT. Don't have somebody sitting around. Let's get, uh, let's get a company together that can help you. Let's talk about man Let's talk about converting your existing platforms and applications to the cloud. But this is, I like this portrayal because it kind of shows, you know what, we really don't need those guys. This is a good one too. Where this, one's, this company has a policy of BYOD bringing your own desk. It's a misinterpretation obviously or not. It's kind of depicting the fact that the, the boss doesn't understand what BYOD stands for, but it, it may be a good way to explain, let's talk about your BYOD strategy. Do you have security implications? Do you have um, ways for them to purchase devices? How are they going to manage that all of that all of those different components how are you going to protect the data if you're in a HIPAA compliancy and so <clears throat> this is just a good example of saying look let's let's look at this um, how we can work with that I like this one a lot too because this is really what what we're trying to convey when we're talking to prospects there's a secretary with lots of fancy items on her desk and it says I hope you're putting the cost savings from going over to cloud to good use, Susan. And so this is designed to help instantly provide you know, an idea that there is a certain financial advantage to going to the cloud and using managed IT products. 
this one is also good too, especially today in today's day and age. Um, we're seeing significant increase in natural disasters. But in this one, it says, "I was just wondering, do we have a disaster recovery plan?" And the man that's asking is, "Looks like something had blown up." But uh, this may be a great instant way to, to convey information about, do we have a disaster recovery plan? And then you may add a note and say, um, do you want to talk about that? That might be a good way to catch their attention. So as far as creating these comics, you can go out and find one on the web and that's totally fine. You can just copy and paste it into your email. You might find it advantageous to actually go out and hire somebody. It may only cost you $100, but you can have your own unique custom comic based off of something that would provide value to your company. Maybe have your logo implemented into the design or something that's subtle. Maybe have them draw your face as the person that's talking to the other individual. But you may want to Customizing it is worth the value because the image, obviously, it's digital and it can be replicated over and over again. We'll talk more about why we want to use this methodology rather than just pulling one off the web. But to get started, you can definitely go out and search for different examples of comics that may be useful for you in your existing campaigns until you have something that works for yourself. But if you go to places like Upwork, or there's probably a million other places that you can get this from, you can even give them some examples of what you're looking for, customize it, change the language. But on here, you can find a number of artists that can help you create something that would look pretty cool. Um, because what happens is if we can get a much higher return rate if we modify the text just slightly. So if you notice in this one that we talked about where there was cloud computing, he mentioned the name Hoskins. Now, you can throw in different subtle tidbits for each individual person and maybe use their last name or maybe use their company name or their street address or something that makes it feel like, hey, this was just for me. And that was one thing that Stu Heineke talked about is when he does campaigns related to comics, they actually customize each one so that the user will typically put this on their wall and say, look at this comic. It even mentions our name. And so you can use these different methodologies, but to make it easy on yourself, because you can't have your digital artist recreate this for a thousand different companies. But if you just go into, because this is going to be delivered email, you don't need a high-res version of this. But the easiest way, if you're not familiar with graphic editing softwares, you can just go into PowerPoint and add the text there and customize it however you like. You can change the message and create multiple versions of these different comics, but modify it based off of what's happening today. Maybe you can talk about the latest presidential debate or add something that adds not only personalization for your prospect, but something that's relevant to what's happening today. Maybe it talks about the current hurricane that's coming into the area and have a, uh, an artist about that. And maybe every time a hurricane comes through, you can change the name of the hurricane in the comic and then send it out and even customize it for the company. That would add a timing element to this to make it more relevant for the prospects. But that's really